Recently, I've been going down a deep rabbit hole that involves me constantly binge watching shows on Disney+, Plus, whether it be sullen, emotional Kenobi, or the kind, laugh-hearted monsters at work. And when I've been watching these shows, I've always come across at least one thing to brighten my otherwise boring and depressing day. It's not the plot, or the fanservice cameos that serve to make the entire internet hype out in droves, no. What has acted as the sunshine in a gloomy mist, and a light in the dark at that, are the characters themselves. But more specifically, I'm talking about comfort characters. Whether it be the fabulous Hermione from Harry Potter, or even the energetic Val Little from Monsters at Work, comfort characters mean the literal world to me, and plenty of other fans across the globe. They may be fictional, they may be literary, yes, but they provide us with comfort whenever we need it most. And given my rampant obsession with them lately, I figured that I'd delve into the literal science that makes a comfort character succeed in what they do in times of despair. Comforting people. So with all that being said, let's begin. First, we need to find what the definition of a comfort character is exactly. So then, what is a comfort character? I could just tell you to simply click off the video now and Google search it up on Wikipedia or something, but I'm not here to do that. Anyways, a comfort character is typically defined as a fictitious character that a person is heavily attached to. These characters, whether in literary, animation, or cinematic genres, are what soothe their feelings and help them feel more happy and optimistic in times of turbulence and despair. For example, one of my all-time favorite comfort characters is the aforementioned Hermione Granger. What's so special about Hermione to the point where I can consider her such a pivotal comfort character to warm my heart? Is it her cuteness? Is it her academic and encyclopedic knowledge and intelligence? Not quite. To me, what makes Hermione truly stand out as a comfort character is her fierce commitment and loyalty to both her friends and classmates. And more important things. Friendship and bravery. And that right there leads us into the first type of quality that makes comfort characters shine and succeed. Friendship. Furthermore, whenever life sucks, or whenever our brains are flooded with feelings of negativity and stress, we always think of and look to our friends for emotional support and guidance. In many ways, comfort characters excel in terms of friendship, because they bring the types of friendship many people desire to the big screen. Hermione's friendship with Harry is a prime example of this, because their friendship evokes the idea, or rather, dynamic, that a boy and girl can be best friends for life. She truly helped and supported Harry countless times over with seemingly impossible tasks, to the point where without Hermione, both Harry and Ron would have probably died. And outside of Harry Potter, another friendship example with this boy-girl dynamic that I can think of is that between Tyler Tuskman and Val Little from the show Monsters at Work. In that show, Tyler starts off as someone feeling reluctant and out of place, and Val as an excited and happy chick. Tyler felt disappointed he was stuck with a ragtag group of misfits, but Val was there to help him overcome his worries, and eventually became the best of work buds through their mutual experiences together. And even though friendship may be one of the main reasons I'm heavily attached to my comfort characters, it isn't the only one. The second factor that makes comfort characters succeed is appearance. If a character is cute looking, or adorable in general, they are way more likely to elicit attachment from fans. Take Baby Groot, and later Grogu, as examples of this. Both were heavily loved and adored in their respective franchises owing to their innocent and cute appearance, and both made the installments they were in rise with popularity. There are even characters that grow more attractive as they develop more in their characterization, like the aforementioned Hermione, or even Princess Leia, who both require no introduction in their own right. 
However, in spite of appearance being a great contributor to allowing the comfort aspect of characters to truly succeed, it can also work against a character. In stark contrast to characters perceived as incredibly good looking, any character who is perceived as being unattractive or extremely unpleasant to be around incurs more hate rather than comfort, and consequently, they tend to receive far less fans compared to their more attractive counterparts. Nonetheless, appearance now brings us toward the third factor that makes comfort characters succeed, romanticism. By now, you're probably well aware that shipping is a very, very rampant thing across many fandoms. Seeing two characters in any one fandom harbor romantic feelings for each other, and or canonically get together is bound to attract not only shipping, but also heavy attachment and popularity in the long run. Whenever fans partake in shipping, they not only adore the romantic nature of their favorite pairing, but also elevate the importance of both the ship and the characters involved within their head. Throughout plenty of social media sites, whether it be YouTube, Twitter, and especially Instagram, you're always bound to run into accounts and or fan pages wholly dedicated towards favorite shipping pairs. As a result, shipping and romanticism is heavily linked towards a boost in popularity for any given character duo, and makes them look more comforting in the long run. And what's more is that it helps two characters reach such an acclaimed position instead of one. Moving further, the fourth factor that makes comfort characters succeed is their personality. A good example of how personality can be effective at appealing to the fans is once again, Val Little. Val heavily exhibits a vibrant and colorful personality. Most of her screen time revolves around her being happy, energetic, and incredibly talkative. Not only that, she also provides a cheerful contrast towards Tyler's more serious and mature behavior. Her personality can really feel like a breath of fresh air for anyone experiencing stress akin to Tyler's throughout Monsters at Work. Told you nobody sat on Mini Monster Day. Best day ever. Yes. Yes, it is. Besides Val, there are other examples that I can bring to the table. Hermione of course comes to mind, for pretty straightforward reasons, as well as this little pink guy right here. Furthermore, there are also several other personality types that can make comfort characters more effective. Stuff that comes to mind include mentoring, bookworms, and even humor. Not every comfort character has to exhibit one particular personality trait to be successful. Also, in most cases, the more variety means the better, given that all fans of any particular franchise exhibit a variety of different backgrounds and characteristics. And finally, by far the main thing that makes comfort characters stand out, and the main thing that connects to all the prior reasons I've described earlier, is relatability. A perfect example of how relatability can make a comfort character successful is through tragic characterization. Characters who have endured immense loss and grief, ranging from Harry Potter himself to others like Thor from the MCU, all act as powerful figures in this regard, so that when fans are also feeling sad, relating to them allows them to take solace in the fact that they're not alone in their mutual struggles. Relatability can also allow fans to mutually identify with real-world representations of individuals on the big screen. This reiterates the friendship aspect we've talked about earlier, in which fans can heavily relate to a fictional character, so much so to the point where they can literally represent a friend of sorts. Or, relatability can also allow fans to view their favorite characters in a new way they hadn't yet considered previously. Regardless of which way you put it, relatability is arguably one of the most critical things to a comfort character's success because it is an indication of how much any one fan identifies with any given character. The success of comfort characters is absolutely crucial to the world building of any movie or game franchise out there. In order for people to feel attached to a fictional world, so much so to the point of viewing it as a home away from home, 
they need to be moved by the characters who inhabit that world. This is why in Harry Potter, for instance, many people, including the fans, admit to Hogwarts being their home, because the characters and magic that world has to offer induces comfort and relief whenever fans need it most. And the same holds true for any other movie or game franchise out there, whether it be Nintendo, Pixar, Star Wars, or the MCU. All of these aforementioned franchises I just covered have characters who exhibit all the five qualities that make their comforting aspects successful and remain very popular blockbusters to this day. Overall, comfort allows fans to view characters and franchises in ways they hadn't yet considered before and is ultimately the key thing that motivates fans to continue supporting them for years to come. Thanks for watching everyone.